We will be discussing 9-11 in uh, depth with, uh, with Christopher Ketchum in the uh, second hour. And uh, in this hour, like I said, we will be speaking with uh, two uh, beautiful women, I might add, who converted to uh, Islam. With me in the studio, like I said, is Carmen Broussard. Welcome to the show, Carmen. Thank you, Michelle. Um, tell me, how was it, you know, after 9-11, people had the wrong impression about Islam uh, due to the media, and uh, most, most Americans get their news from the uh, media. How did you get to learn about Islam, and what about like your friends and family? How are they looking at you uh, now? Well, I learned about Islam um, through a co-worker at work. He happened to be fasting and I was ordering lunches and he wasn't eating, so I asked him why was he fasting and he told me because of his religion. So I asked him to tell me more about his religion and it started from there. Um, friends and family think it's strange they think it's different. A lot of my family is very supportive, um, but I can still see that they're a little bit uncomfortable, a little not sure of exactly what direction I'm going in life with religion. What made you go to... Okay, so you decided, I mean, he, this friend of yours or co-worker, explain the religion to you and then you found out that this is something that will work for me? I did. It made sense to me. I never understood the Trinity and Christianity. Um, I didn't understand how God could be Jesus and Jesus could be God. Um, absolute forgiveness through a priest and salvation guaranteed. I never understood that. So. The fundamental belief in Islam that there's only one God just fit with me. It worked for me. It gave me peace and comfort that I was worshiping one God. Okay. What did you think when, um, like when those planes hit the towers and uh, Islam was basically... Uh, blamed for it and then you became a Muslim how how was I mean were you feeling awkward that you know people think that Muslims are the ones who attack the towers and now I'm converting to a Muslim was that hard for you to do well you asked me how did I feel when the towers were attacked and I was devastated and I was sad and I was scared um, fortunately, I never truly made the connection of Islam and terrorist. I said, okay, the terrorists are bad people, um, and they did a terrible thing. Okay. Carmen, what would you think the, some of the differences between Islam and Christianity, um, and the commonality too? In my humble understandings of Islam thus far, some of the major differences in Islam and Christianity would be that there's only one God. Um, and I think it's believed that God doesn't need a spouse or children or a son like Jesus, so he's only one. There's no extension of him. Um, and the other fundamental difference that I found was absolute salvation. In Islam, you don't go to a priest and confess your sins, and the priest tells you to say ten Hail Marys, and you're forgiven. You ask God directly for forgiveness in hopes that he will forgive you. We believe he's a very forgiving God. You just need to repent and ask for that forgiveness. I think some of the similarities... Or just as Angela was saying, we believe in all of the prophets, we believe in Jesus, we believe that Jesus performs special miracles, um, and it is peaceful, and it's love thy neighbor, and um, a lot of the Ten Commandments, do not kill, do not steal, um, you shouldn't covet your neighbor's wife, which is why women dress more modestly in Islam so that they aren't coveted. Okay. I'll tell you what, we're going to go back to the phones with Joel. He has a question about the hijab. Go ahead, Joel. 
Yes, hello. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Uh, You're welcome. Uh, I, I want to I wanna go with the comparison. I, I, I noticed we, we hear a lot of uh, propaganda about uh, uh, Islam and the women, how they're covered. And they, uh, you know, the, the American women seem to think that that's some kind of uh, oppressive thing. I want to co compare it with the Catholic Church and the nuns. These nuns are covered from head to toe, but you never hear an American woman or, or a Christian woman say how it, it, you know, it is oppressive to the nuns. You know, we still have the elderly women today. They cover their heads going to church. 